So today here we've got the Qashqai 1.5 e-power. Uh, this is a full hybrid vehicle. Um, it being a Tecna spec, it is quite a nice spec. We get the uh, LED turn lights and daylight running lights on the front of the vehicle. Full LED um, headlamps as well. Uh, the um, adaptive headlamps, so they will uh, light up. At the they'll be on, uh, they'll activate automatic high beam whenever they require them. Um, front, on the front of the vehicle, we've got the V Motion grille, uh, Nissan badge with the radar behind it. Coming down the side of the vehicle, we've got 19 inch uh, two tone alloy wheels, really nice looking ones. Uh, e Power badge, just to denote the fact that it is a, a full hybrid model. This this vehicle's got black metallic paint with the gunmetal grey roof, and then nice a uh, little bit of speciality on this one. It's also got the grey interior. So as we open up the doors, not grey all the way through, which is nice. So it's easier to keep clean. We've got the black on the inside of the seat, and then the grey on the outside of the seat. All the door panels are grey, along with the dashboard along here. Electric adjustments on this seat. As we get in, we have a digital display for the driver. Nice big 13 inch screen for the sat nav. And then, I'm not sure whether you can see it, but there's also a um, digital readout on the dashboard as well on the windscreen itself so it comes out of the projector projector and onto the screen the sat nav unit itself will ask us to make a, a profile for the driver has its own built-in sat nav as well as wireless carplay and wired android auto if you're using wireless carplay you can pop your phone down on the charging pad and that will charge it and you'll be wirelessly synced up to the screen there um, i love how they've done this uh, control unit um, just looks really nice um, you've got the heated front windscreen heated steering wheel button there as well as well as your heated uh, seats controls and then being an e-power vehicle we're actually we actually we've actually started the vehicle we're actually ready to go although we can't hear an engine that's because our battery level is just above halfway so as we're above halfway we are on a compound, so it's um, private land. If we put the vehicle into drive, tap the accelerator, that will actually drive us forward. So we're actually moving forward right now. And then put us into reverse. Brings up all the cameras. We can back the vehicle up. Put it back into park and that will switch everything back off again. And we, engine is still running at this point. So, um, we can actually see what the engine's doing if we change from the settings here. So if we go across to settings and then all the way across to our uh, drive monitor. So we can see the energy flow. So at the moment, battery's just above half. The engine is switched off at the moment. Uh, that does light up orange to tell you when the, when the vehicle's engine's running. Um, when we press the brake lights, brakes, the brake lights light up. So really important electric vehicle. Um, it has regenerative braking, so regular drive mode. And then, if we put the vehicle down to drive and then down to again, it'll go into regenerative braking mode as well as uh, e pedal function. So, we press the e pedal very close to one pedal driving, that is. Um, so, e pedal mode um, in those two modes, uh, as you come off the accelerator, the vehicle will. Um, slow down and when it's slowing down it'll actually it, if if the brake lights are on it'll actually indicate that on the screen there in front of us as well which is nice to have you can also have your sat nav within this screen which is great because if you're using your um, carplay on this screen itself your sat nav will still appear within here and your turn by turn navigation also appears within the dashboard just there so we'll just de demonstrate that really quickly so if you go into a screen here and we set a destination so let's set, set our dealership's destination which is B, our postcode being b 742 he we now get the sat nav appear within here press start on that 
The route has been calculated. And here, Drive on and up terrain. here on the screen, we'll have that appear in a second as well. The 10 by 10 navigation will also appear there. It's a lovely interior. I really like this new grey optional interior. We do offer, offer it in the black trim and the blue dashboard as well, blue leather dashboard. If you step out for a second, we'll have a look around the vehicle. So we've back doors. That's the rear area of the vehicle, cabin. The doors open up to almost 90 degrees to allow easy ingress and egress into the vehicle. Fill a cap. It's a non-mess. Uh, uh, doesn't need a cap either. Uh, fill a cap. So then we come around to the back of the vehicle. Electronic tailgate. And then we've got a split folding system. So uh, reversible backs on, on the lids there as well. Yep, so that's a quick, good quick overview of the new Nissan Qashqai e-power. If you'd like to have more information or would like to arrange a test drive or a viewing, please feel free to give me a call. Uh, my details will be below. Thanks.